Ever wondered how your favorite social media networks, GPS apps, and even Netflix predict your next binge watch? It's all thanks to powerful algorithms silently working behind the scenes. But did you know that these algorithms have real world applications beyond our screens? Data structures in real life? Seriously? Why do I need to know this? Because interview has no chip. Yes, the concept of DSA can also be found in everyday life. Algorithmic problem solving techniques are not just in demand for coding interviews, but are also essential for landing a high paying job in a software industry. Learning algorithms is a must have career skills for programmers. So in this video, we'll be exploring the surprising real life applications of data structures and algorithms that impacts our daily lives. Application of arrays. Arrays are the simplest data structures that store items of the same data types. A basic application of arrays can be seen in storing data in a tablet format. For example, when you save contacts in your phone, the software simply places all your contacts in an array. There are some other practical applications of arrays as well. In a game like chess, arrays are used to store players' past and current moves. This allows for the indication of positions and provides hints for the player. Arrays are utilized to store images of specific size on an Android device or laptops. This enables efficient organization and retrieval of images. Arrays are essential for managing leaderboards in games. They store players' score and arrange them in descending order to clearly display each player's rank. Arrays play a crucial role in managing booking for events or travel tickets online, ensuring efficient handling of large volumes of data. Even your viewing screen is a multidimensional array of pixels. Application of strings A string in a DSA is defined as a sequence of characters stored in adjacent memory location, terminated by a special character name, null character. Practical application of string-based data structures include the following. Strings are extensively used in digital forensics and information retrieval system to analyze and retrieve data from various sources such as documents, emails, and databases. In databases, string plays a crucial role in verifying and validating user inputs, ensuring accuracy and adherence to specific criteria. Spam email detection systems utilize string algorithms to analyze email content and detect patterns associated with spams or unsolicited messages. Plagiarism detection algorithms rely on strings to compare text documents and identify similarities or copied content. String-based algorithms are integral to spell checking systems, aiding in the identification and correction of spelling errors in text documents and user input. Application of linked lists. A linked list is a sequence data structure that connects elements called nodes through links. Unlike arrays, where elements are stored in contiguous memory locations, linked data structures consist of individual nodes connected through pointers and references. Real-world examples of linked data structures include the following. Image viewer software uses linked lists to view previous and next images using previous and next buttons. Each node in the linked list represents an image and the pointers allow the navigation between images. Web pages can be accessed through previous and next URL links which are linked using a linked list. This allows users to navigate through their browsing history and efficiently move between visited pages. Music players utilize linked list to switch between the music tracks. Each node in the linked list represents a song and the pointers enables seamless navigation between tracks. Drawing and shapes created in MS Paint are connected via linked list on a canvas. Each node represents a shape or a drawing element and the pointers allows for the manipulation and arrangement of objects on the canvas. Social media platforms use linked list to organize and display content fields. Each node represents a post or a piece of content and the pointers enables scrolling and the navigation through feed. Applications of Stack A stack is a data structure that operates on last in first out principle. It supports various operations such as reversing, sorting and deleting elements. Real world application of stack includes word processors and other applications utilize stack to undo and redo functionalities, allowing users to reverse or repeat actions. Media players utilize stacks to manage playlists and facilitate navigation between songs. Specifically, the stack functionality enables player to keep the track of the sequence of songs, allowing the users to seamlessly control the playback by accessing the previous and next songs in the playlist. Platforms like Google Pay employ stacks to manage scratch cards earned after transactions. Each card is added to a stack and the users can retrieve and view them in a last in first out order. Integrated development environment 
IDEs use stack to validate and match parentheses in code. This ensures proper syntax and helps developers to identify errors efficiently. Application of queues A queue is a linear data structure which operates on first-in, first-out principle, where the data item stored first will be accessed first. Real-world application of queues includes the following. Queues are utilized in escalator to manage passenger flow, in printer spoolers to sequence print jobs, and in car washes to organize vehicle servicing, ensuring efficient operations and minimizing wait times. Operating systems use queues for job scheduling, managing tasks in first-in, first-out manner to ensure efficient resource utilization and system performance. Servers employ queues to manage incoming requests from clients. Each request is added to the queue and processed in the order it was received, ensuring fair and efficient handling of client requests. Queues are used to handle website traffic by managing incoming requests from users. This helps with the load balancing and ensures smooth functioning of the website during the peak traffic times. Email servers use queues to manage the delivery of emails. Incoming emails are added to the queue and processed sequentially, ensuring emails are sent out in the order they were received. Application of Graphs A graph is a non-linear data structure where data is stored in the collection of vertices and edges. It is used to solve some of the most complex programming problems. Other practical application of graph-based data structures includes Platforms like Facebook, LinkedIn and others utilize graphs to represent connections between users. Each user is considered a vertex and the edges between them represents connections or friendships. Graphs are employed in recommendation systems such as those used by Facebook to suggest mutual friends or connections based on the existing relationships within the network. Google Maps, Yahoo and Apple employ graphs to display shortest path or nearest location using the algorithms like breadth first search. This aids in navigation and route optimization for users. Graphs are used in logistics to optimize transportation routes. Nodes represent locations and edges represent transportation routes, allowing for the calculation of most efficient route for delivery and transportation. Don't just learn data structures and algorithms in a theoretical way. It's essential to grasp practical application of each data structure and understand how they impact real-life scenarios. By doing so, you will not only enhance your understanding of DSA, but also excel in your technical interviews with confidence using practical examples. If we reach 5k views on this, we will release part 2 for this video, in which we will talk more about DSA and its application in real life scenarios. So what are you waiting for? Share this video with your tech savvy friends and unlock more insights together.